All right, and to be honest, guys, I'm just really excited to use the Grim Citizen again, man. It's like an old friend to me, because this is one of the very first weapons I got. Actually, the very first legendary I got was the Zombie Apocalypse, so I have it on it. Uh, have it on my Voidwalker? No, but uh, this one, like I said in the, in the previous video, Outlaw, Feeding Frenzy, it's got the same exact sight. The only difference is I believe that this one has a little more, st you know, a little more stability with perfect balance, but I'm very excited to use it. I don't know if you guys remember in year one, or if you were playing in year one, there was the uh, there was people choosing sides, right? There's Shadow Price, Grim Citizen, there was the Vanquisher from the New Monarchy, and uh, that was a really good gun. I, I really enjoyed it. The only downfall is it had that 22 round magazine, but it had life support, so if you got a kill, you get some health back, and also had uh, Feeding Frenzy to make up for that low round magazine. All right, so we got, we got Twilight Gap. And for this build, I'm going to try to keep my engagements short to mid, and to be honest with you, I'm probably going to be leading with the Vacancy a lot uh, it, to start my gunfights. And uh, we're going to try to util utilize Hot Swap on both of these, so we're going to be going back and forth between our weapons to so always try to keep that perk going. It's a, it's a really good buff to have. So what do we got here? Doctrine, Righteous, Righteous, Grim Citizen. This is going to be pretty fun. So, and, and like I said, there's going to be a guy down on my bottom left here. There he is. Um... All right, Mr. Grim Citizen, you're doing okay. We're going to wait for our healed, uh, health to come back. We're going to jump up. To, that same Titan should spawn probably right here. What are we hitting here? 17? 20? 20? 20? No! <laughs> All right, so we're going to go around. I don't like that engagement. He's got a sniper rifle. He has the... Uh... I'm just going to keep on rotating until we got something we like. This guy's going to be above me. Come on, Grim Citizen. There you go. All right. So now the Grim Citizen, I would say... I'm going to lose that gunfight. It's just done. Got it. Wait, wait for this Doctrine of Melting. I didn't know heavy ammo was out. The good dude's got a machine gun. I'll throw the grate. Jump out. That should kill him. Oh no! Well, that's alright. But anyway, I like to think of the Grim Citizen. I don't think it's in a very good spot right now, the Shadow Price, this archetype, because it's not. The damage dealt to a rate of fire, it's not very forgiving. You have to be pretty precise with it. And, and if I had to kind of talk about it, I would say that we're going to keep pre firing this guy and crouching on him. Bad, bad shot. I'm going to reload here. Shotgun. Nope, he's going to shoulder charge me. Bad play by me. I wasn't ready. But uh, that this archetype is not very forgiving. And I would say the next archetype up, the, that Shinjin, so Righteous, uh, Xerenia D, those are forgiving. And the Doctrine of Passing is very forgiving. So that's how I, I kind of rate these right now in this game. Very forgiving, forgiving, and not so much. Let me see if we can catch this guy. There's a guy immediately behind me. It's the Titan. Good play. Did he fall off? No. Yes. 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 I need to try to find some special ammo. It should be soon. There should be a guy actually down here now that I've been up here for a second. No. There should be like 40 seconds left or so. 35. So we're going to get this one run immediately to that one. Just going to stay alive here. Throw a grape. Two people over here. I'll let them do their thing so we can get this vacancy ammo. It, it's very... okay. It's very important just to deny people in any game mode of this special ammo, man. It puts you in a, in a great advantage. This guy wants it, though. Didn't, didn't land anything. Let's crouch on him. Lifesteal. Got my health back. All right. Shoulder charge. Vacancy this man. Jump on this ledge here. Do a little reload. Oh, he's got a last word. I don't want it. Crouch on him. Come on, baby. There we go. Throw a grape. Get some vertical space. Got him. Got him. Thank you. Really? All right. Imagine the chicken dance song in the background. Did he hold his ground? No! I ran into another one. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. 
to be honest, I like the other side of this board, so a lot of people don't do. If you ever want to get to the other side, do this. Take this lane. I do it all the time. Nobody, uh, if you just need to get there, four caps, four whatever. I heard a guy jumping back here. It's his Titan, man. He wants me. I will bank and see you, bro. A little bit of lag in there. We got to find Foxy Squirrel. He's in the lead. I'm having a pretty good time with this game. All right. So we're going to jump up here to the cover. It's a Titan. So close range engagement. Oh. And throw the grape on the wall. Should chase him. Don't fall off the map. That would be pretty pro. There's a blade dancer behind me. Excuse me, Mr. Titan. <laughs> All right. Oh, I do have my sword on, so we're, we're going to try to get this. If there's anybody there, lead with the grape just in case they are. All right. This should be fun. I haven't used a sword in a long time, so I might immediately get... Get, uh, get dumpstered here. See, that was bad. Nope. Last word, Sniper. The bane of destiny. A blade Dancer, too. He's got quick draw. Jeez. See, that was horrible sword play. I probably died like eight times. That's no good. But we're having fun with it, man. Try to see if I can get more engagement. So the only thing I'm really worried about is this last one. Alright, so he probably has a sniper, so we're going to jump out. Good play. That's exactly what you want to do, guys. So I'm actually working on my Crucible Tip video, or another one. I haven't done one in a long time, and uh, there's a reason for that. But uh, I'm going to be talking about short and long-range engagements. So versus sniper rifles, crouch on them. We got the kill. Oh, nope, Mr. Titan. Uh, talking about shotgun, going to get shotgunners, going to get snipers, because there's things that you can do to maybe get on top of that situation. All right, I need to win this game. All right, there's a double. There's going to be a guy down here. We're going to get straight to him. Oh, he's above me. We're going to leave with this vacancy if we can. A little bit of lag there. We're going to knee slide into this guy so he doesn't see me. Nope, he backed off. Good play by him. We're going to try to reach out and touch him. Yep. Let's go. I can't stay up here too long. There's going to be people right behind me. Throw the grape. Oh, we have one more vacancy. Oh, see, the grape got him. One more vacancy shot. Let's see if we can make a deep one. And we got con Conspiracy Theory. Thank you for stopping by my channel again, guys. All right, so here's a Titan. He's, you know, Titans are pretty aggressive. Here he is. That sucks. We're going to back up. Get some good shots on him. We got the victory. So, I mean, I don't know. I had a good time with the weapon. Now, you just got to be very careful with these archetype or with this archetype. Like I said, they're, they're not in too good of a place. They hit hard, but you have to be very accurate. And that's why I was looking for a Counterbalance one. And it's just, it's, it's a shame that Counterbalance is become pretty dependent on some weapons just to keep up. 20 and 9. Oh, what's this guy got in his inner shadow? Icarus and Outlaw. It's pretty good. If he adds explosive rounds, that'll be really good. So, and another thing I want to say, guys, is uh, recently, uh, I'll put a link in the description of him and his video. Uh, a YouTuber by the name of Mesa Sean did a little shout out to me in his video, and I thank him very much for that. I, I got a lot of new faces by my channel, and for you guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. It means a lot. Uh, I really enjoy doing this. A message from Epic. Let's see what he has to say. Um... Like I said, it's just really nice. Yes, I am real. I am cool guy. <laughs> but, uh, and also, when Iron Banner comes up, I mean, I, or this week, I, I'll play with you guys, man. Just send me a message. It just depends on, on my schedule. I'm going to start streaming a little bit. Um, I'm talking with some of the top streamers, and they're helping me out get, get some of that ready. So I think I'm really going to start making a push at it, guys, and I think it'll be a good time. It'll be a, be a, be a, be a fun run. But uh, a little off track. Big thanks to Mesa Sean. Um, there's a link in, to his channel. He's just a fantastic guy. There's a lot of good people in this community, guys. Um, you just, you know, have to be open to it. I, I see a lot of negativity sometimes. Uh, the game is approaching, you know, three years old, and uh, you go on these forums, and you see a lot of negativity. Uh, so when new players come along, just you know, remember to be nice to them. Because say a new player comes along, he'll go on the Bungie forum, and he'll see a lot of negativity. It might immediately turn him off. And Bungie makes great games. Uh, they make a very good world to go to to get away 
and um, don't take that away from people, guys. Be, be nice to your fellow gamers. That's going to be enough. We're not going to preach anymore. So pretty soon, I have my Crucial Tip video on short-range engagements and long-range engagements, things that can help you come out on top. We're going to break down the situation. We're going to break down what happens, uh, things that you can do with your loadout to equip yourself better to play against it. It's a play style to play against it or for it. So it, it'll be pretty cool. Hopefully, you guys can take something from it. So until the next one, I am Cool Guy.